Hi everyone, I have Kirsty with me and today we'll be talking about what is the difference between lymphatic swelling and what's the difference between cardiovascular swelling where fluid builds up and you know the most go-to assumption is your heart is failing, right? Um, what do you find in your clinical practice? Do patients come in with a diagnosis, with a label, or do they come in with a symptom? I, I can walk, I have hip pain, my leg is swollen. Yeah, generally I come in with the latter, with uh, um, symptoms. Some symptoms, something's Sorry. happening. And then we get to be detectives together and kind of figure out what is the source of this and do we need other, other people on this team? Yes, ab absolutely. So most patients don't come in with a medical box, they don't have a diagnosis, they come in with uh, symptoms of pain, can walk, uh, tingling, swelling. So what's the difference in, in the swelling and how do we think through this algorithm? Uh, generally, lymphatic swelling tends to be unilateral, more like on one side of the body. Yes, it can be on both sides, right? But um, generally speaking, lymphatic blockage can happen on one side versus the other where um, swelling uh, related to cardiac issues, to kidney issues, tends to be bilateral on both sides, pretty much equal. Um, of course, we always look at the patient as a whole. Um, so we're looking at cardiac function, kidney function, uh, liver function, as all of these um, impact one's ability to detox properly. Mm -hmm. How do you approach that? Yeah, so I'm looking at contraindications. Is it safe to move that cardiovascular system? We don't want to overload the heart. Right. Um, so that's a big difference in when I would do manual lymph drainage and when I would not. Um, there are other options. If it, there are different types of massage and some may be appropriate and some may not. Um, and it really just depends on case by case what they're, what they're going through. Um, yeah, so I like to take it, again, individual approach, um, use the test, find out what kind of swelling, listen to the symptoms, come up with a game plan together. Absolutely. Thank you.